Dassault Aviation, the French company behind the Rafale fighter jet, is currently under scrutiny regarding its upgrade programs due to concerns over high costs and extended timelines. Experts noted that Dassault recently indicated that, replacing the Rafale's current RB2 active electronically scanned array radar with India's Utame ESA could take as long as eight years. This announcement has stirred memories of the Mirage 2000 upgrade, which faced similar delays and ended up costing nearly as much as purchasing new aircraft, highlighting a troubling trend in Dassault's aerospace programs characterized by lengthy upgrade cycles. This raises significant concerns about India's future defense plans, particularly the Indian Air Force's medium multi-role fighter aircraft, MRFA Tender, where the Rafale F-4 is a frontrunner. Experts emphasize the potential risks of India's dependency on Dassault for integrating indigenous weapon systems. For instance, incorporating India's Astra Mk-1 missile into the Rafale required technical assistance from Dassault, leading to increased costs and complexities. To mitigate these issues, experts advocated for greater autonomy in aircraft systems, especially in mission computers and radar technologies. They suggested that India should push for access to the source code of the aircraft systems or consider using indigenous alternatives for critical components. This approach, they argue, is vital to avoid the recurring expenses and delays associated with upgrades, enabling India to fully integrate its growing arsenal of indigenous weapons. Overall, while the MRFA tender is crucial for the IAF's modernization, experts warn that the decisions made now could have lasting implications. Without control over essential systems, India risks facing rising costs and operational constraints, underscoring the importance of self-reliance and the development of indigenous capabilities. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, in partnership with Edgewood Ventures LLC USA and Edgewood Technologies Private Limited, Bangalore, India, has established HAL Edgewood Technologies Private Limited, HETL. This joint venture company is dedicated to developing cutting-edge mission computers for military aviation and aircraft. The design, development, production, and marketing of high-tech projects and products in the domains of electronics, software, hardware, and aviation systems are the main areas of focus for HETL. With its breadth of experience in satellite, aircraft, and aviation projects, the company guarantees the creation of cutting-edge solutions for vital military uses. In contemporary military aircraft, mission computers are essential components that act as the brains behind the systems, processing data, guiding decisions, and managing controls. The operational efficacy and efficiency of military aircraft are anticipated to be improved by the integration of cutting-edge technologies and capabilities in HEDL's next-generation mission computers. HAL, a well-known aerospace business in India, and Edgewood Ventures LLC, a technology company with headquarters in the U.S., are collaborating to combine their complementary skill sets and strengths. With this collaboration, the Indian Armed Forces will be able to fulfill their changing needs with mission computers that are cutting edge and ready to propel innovation. In a strategic move to bolster national security, the Cabinet Committee on Security, headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has approved the third phase of India's space-based surveillance, SBS, program. This ambitious initiative, estimated to cost Rs 26,968 crore, aims to deploy 52 new satellites, significantly enhancing India's capacity to monitor activities both on land and at sea. The program is seen as a vital step in improving India's domain awareness for both civilian and military uses. The satellites will be launched into low Earth orbit, LEO, and geostationary orbit, GEO, providing essential intelligence on enemy movements, infrastructure development in strategically important regions, and potential security threats. This initiative also signifies an increasing collaboration between the public and private sectors in India's space efforts, with the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, set to develop 21 satellites, while private companies will handle the remaining 31. Amid rising geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific, one of the program's key objectives is to detect and counter the expanding presence of hostile submarines, particularly in response to China's assertiveness. Additionally, the satellites will monitor adversaries' infrastructure along India's borders, including the Line of Actual Control, LAC, with China and the Pakistan border, enabling timely responses to potential security threats. Beyond military applications, 
The satellites will also serve civilian purposes such as disaster management, environmental monitoring, and infrastructure development. The data collected will assist in weather forecasting, forest assessments, and agricultural analysis, facilitating informed decision-making in critical areas like food security and urban planning. This SBS program builds on India's previous space surveillance initiatives from 2001 and 2013, which involved launching four and six satellites, respectively. It further complements India's recent acquisition of 31 Predator drones from the U.S., enhancing its overall surveillance capabilities and demonstrating the country's advancing expertise in space technology. On Friday, Army Chief General Apindrad Vivedi officially launched Agni Astra, a portable multi-target detonation device, during the Army Commander's Conference held in Gung Tok. Developed by Major Rajprasad RS of the Indian Army's Corps of Engineers, the device represents a significant advancement for both conventional and counter-terrorism operations. Indian Army officials highlighted that Agni Astra has tremendous potential for applications in room interventions, remote bunker destruction, and reserve demolitions. They emphasized its effectiveness in these operations, noting its dual capability for both conventional warfare and counter-terrorism missions. This innovation builds on prior achievements, as Major Rajprasad was awarded a patent for the device on March 19. Known as the Portable Multi-Target Detonation Device or WEDC, it was specifically engineered to enhance the safety and reliability of detonating multiple targets, addressing the limitations of the older Exploder Dynamo capacitor, which had a range of only 400 meters. In contrast, the new system is a microprocessor-based electronic device that can function in both wired and wireless modes, boasting an improved operational range of 2.5 kilometers. This allows for selective and simultaneous detonations from a safe distance, which is crucial for demolition tasks, particularly in counterterrorism and IED neutralization efforts. General Dvivedi presided over the Army Commander's Conference in Sikkim, a notable first for the event to be held outside Delhi in such a strategically significant location. The conference, conducted in a hybrid format, aims to review operational preparedness, discuss critical strategies, and set future directives focusing on national security and technological advancements within the Indian Army. Further discussions are scheduled for the next phase on October 28th to 29th in New Delhi. The Indian Army is taking significant steps to enhance its anti-drone capabilities in light of the rising threat posed by Unmanned Aerial Systems, UAS, on contemporary battlefields. A recent request for information RFI indicates the Army's intention to acquire advanced high-power microwave systems, which are designed to neutralize small drones. This development comes as nations like Turkey, China, the UK, and Russia increasingly employ small drones in military operations. HPM systems provide a distinct advantage over traditional counter-drone methods by emitting electromagnetic waves that disrupt the electronic systems of drones within a targeted 5-kilometer range, eliminating the reliance on projectiles. This approach complicates adversaries' use of anti-jamming or electronic protection measures, effectively mitigating the drone threat. The Indian Army plans to integrate these HPM systems with its existing air defense infrastructure, including armored fighting vehicles, AFVs. This integration will enhance capabilities against small, agile drones that are challenging to engage with conventional weapons, such as 12.7mm machine guns. The non-kinetic nature of HPM technology allows for incapacitating drones without causing physical destruction, facilitating quick responses to multiple threats in combat. This initiative is part of a broader strategy to modernize India's air defense capabilities, which also includes exploring the Common Air Defense Track System Cadet, to improve interoperability among the Army, Navy, and Air Force. This platform will integrate various anti-drone technologies, including HPM systems, for a comprehensive aerial defense. Aligned with the Ministry of Defense's Otmanar Bharat initiative, the Army aims for at least 50% of the components for these systems to be sourced locally. The urgency for these upgrades is emphasized by the growing role of drones in recent conflicts, underscoring the need for effective anti-drone measures in modern warfare, particularly against threats from neighboring countries like Pakistan and China.
That's all from YKS team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.